Good morning. Tuesday. The 14th, March 14th, day 19. Leaving Cosby Nam shelter. Ooh, what a cold night. 17 degrees right now. Bone chilling cold. When I got here, there was probably eight college students. I, I didn't count. Three, four through hikers and one section hiker. Maybe not eight, maybe six college students. I don't really know. A bunch. And nobody wanted to make room in the shelter. I didn't get ugly, but finally just said, in there room right here? And they had food, bottles, all kinds of stuff. Just on, on the top bunk. Finally, we got some room. They let me put my bed out. Cook supper, had two meals. Beef stroganoff and chicken and dumplings for supper last night. I didn't put my boots in my pack. I put my water filter in my sleeping bag, my contact solution in my sleeping bag. But I forgot to put my boots in my pack and they are frozen solid. <sighs> rookie mistake. Except I'm not a rookie, but anyway, it was definitely a mistake. So now I'm still trying to thaw my boots out. I got them on finally, but they're not very comfortable until they get a little more pliable. Today is the last day in the Smokies, and we made it a memorable one. <laughs> Definitely will remember this day and last night. It was cold. 17, it's not that bad. I've camped colder than that, but... Not a whole lot, but some colder than that. I've been down to zero. It's just not a whole lot of fun. If you're struggling to stay warm. I let too much air out of my pad. So I was, hip was hitting the, hitting the ground. That's uncomfortable. I couldn't get it blown back up during the night, so. All right, so off to Standing Bear. Uh, Davenport Gap. I think it's another one of the things I cross I for you today. I'll be out of the Smokies. All right, I'll, I'll give you some more if I get some views, but it's snowing again. It snowed during the night and it's just a slight drizzle, snow, snowflakes, just barely. P90 snowflakes falling now. <clears throat> I don't think the weather forecast is for anything but cold even colder tonight, but I'll be thawing out in the hostel by afternoon. If I could ever get going and get these boots thawed out enough where I can walk good. All right. 23, over 23 trail miles yesterday. It's helping my average a little bit. My goal is to be when I'm done 15 a day, so kicks in for some of those low mileage days. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. I'm gonna get going here. I gotta put my glove back on too. Today should be all down pretty much. I ran the ridges yesterday for most of the day and then probably starting about three o'clock in the afternoon and started coming down and then went back up a little bit. And then I think today is just mostly all down, coming down out of the mountains. Thing has its own beauty, that's for sure. 
This is a whole nother category. Hopefully one night I'll get to camp by myself and video some and show you more of camp life. But the rate this is going, it's so everybody bottles up, at, especially in the Smokies, bottle up at the shelters because you're not supposed to camp anywhere but the shelters. That makes it even more crowded. But you're also supposed to have permit. And if I didn't get a place to sleep, I was gonna start asking for him to start showing me a permit if I had to go outside. But it didn't come to that, thank goodness. That would have been cold, cold in my tent. And then I had to, to set it up, find a place, take it down, all of that. My fingers are already frozen from having my gloves off. I'm gonna do that if I don't have to. All right, just wanted to give you a little of this scenery. Hopefully you'll get this video before I get to Maine. <laughs> I haven't been able to get videos out. And still, I still got one sitting there trying to upload. It's been uploading for four days. I just can't get it to finish. But you will have gotten it by the time you hear me say this, but at least it's some explanation down the road of why you hadn't gotten videos from me. It'll finish, I'll finish the next few days. I'll catch back up. as you will have seen by the time you got this. Winter Wonderland is one of my buddies said back home. White everywhere you see. And I am going up by the way. <laughs> Somewhere on top of ridge and it's all down. Been going up ever since I quit filming. I've been going up <laughs> about 20 minutes ago. I keep hoping I top it out. I know I can look at my map and tell me, but I'd rather just kind of not know sometimes. Very dicey. Oh, look here, a little wall. They don't want you going over here. Yeah, I wouldn't want to go over. Nice little wall, more icicles. Straight up. What a difference a few thousand feet make. Earlier this morning I was at about 5,000 feet and now I'm at 3,400. <laughs> it's changed drastically. Still a little snow flurry, but nothing much. But at least I'm not walking in ice everywhere. Coming down fast. I've come down, well, total down so far today, 2,400. But I'm at 3,400 and I was at 5,000. So it's uh, only dropped elevation 1,500 so far. But I know I'm coming way down to get 
get to I 40. You can actually see. see. Oh. I see something over there. Don't know what it is. Can't get focus in the distance. What is this today? Another trail. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Wow, I'm just I'm kind of amazed how much it's changed in just the last half mile. I've been steady just down, 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 down steps, one step after another. And then it kind of leveled out, so I pulled my phone out to, to video. It's not as much a winter wonderland anymore. I, I will be honest, I'm not gonna miss it. It was cold last night, 17 was, was what my thermometer said. It's up to 24 now. I'll take it, 24 over 17 all day. And the wind was blowing. Several times this morning, I didn't ever film it, but several times it was the wind blowing, all the ice and snow on the trees. I was worried about the limb snapping and coming down on me. Nothing, I never even heard a twig fall, but they were creaking and cracking while I was coming through. That a very young lady headed up, gonna do the whole park, 72 miles. She's supposed to get really, it's supposed to be colder tonight than it was last night. I can't imagine that. And she's gonna be somewhere where it's cold cause she's headed up in that higher elevation. Once you get up there, you spend a couple of days high, unless you come off like I did it. You found gap, which counted up the amount of hours I was off. I got off, got my ride at 6:40, and was back on about 7:30. So I wasn't off long, just long enough to sleep, eat, and get my clothes dried out. I just wanted to give you an update. Steady going down. Well, check this out. I dropped down below 3,000 feet. And this is what it looks like. I had no idea they didn't have any snow down here. <laughs> I thought snow was all over the whole planet for a while there. <laughs> Not really. And I thought there would probably be snow, some snow down here, but it's not. Hmm. Well, it's nice to see the ground again. We've got some views too. Still cold, still below freezing. 28 degrees. Give you an update on how the snow. There's that frost that rises up out of the ground. Well, I've obviously warmed up. You see, I've Gotten out of that coat. And I've reached another milestone. A significant point in the uh, journey that I kind of look forward to. Uh, trying not to get too emotional. Um, it's 
spent a lot of time thinking about this guilt going through the Smokies back because mainly because of my dad. It was the last thing we did together was camp in the Smokies, and now I'm through them. Uh, this is the box right here where you where you put your card, where you put your permit if you're coming through. I'll show you. So I made it through the Smokies in three and a half days. I don't know if I'm supposed to put my. I have a. I had a. I had to tear my permit in half and sign it, and date it, and and put it in the box on the other end of the Smokies. But I don't think I have to put mine in. I don't know the rule really. But I sent. I have a picture of that. I, was, I don't know if you're supposed to put it back in there or not. Let me pull it out and read it. Well, it doesn't say anything about depositing your your uh, permit in there. So I'm not going to. I'm going to keep it as a keepsake, as a souvenir to remember this by. Uh, I want to say I want to thank my dad for giving me the love of the outdoors and for bringing me to the Smokies so many times and how much I've enjoyed being in the outdoors. And I will talk more about him on another day, but... Uh, for now, I'm through the Smokies. Just thank you, Lord, for getting me here. I'll give you more. I've seen this in other people's video, and I know what's going to happen. Look way down there. You see those cars? Let's see if I can. sure this is I-40 coming up. I know I'm here in I-40. I don't know. There goes a the car. Which, pretty big deal. I walked from Georgia to cross I-40. I've driven up and down it a bunch of times, but I never walked across it. <laughs> this is uh, just a few miles outside of the Standing Bear Farm that I'm headed towards. It's a little bit of a spread, even for a long-legged guy. Ooh. Nice to be back into some springs and some creeks and streams. Been up so high, I hadn't seen many of these. I love this sound. There's another sound coming up that I'm happy to hear, but I don't love it, but I can, I heard it a minute ago, <laughs> as I mentioned, I-40. Just crossing it makes you feel good. Oh, there's a waterfall. Little, little water. Oh boy, more steps. some sign of spring down here in this valley still in here the turkey gobble
pretty. I wouldn't put that in the epic category, but just pretty, pretty category. I'm north of 40. You wanna know something funny? That car right there just called, just stopped and asked me for directions. <laughs> I had a hard time, hard time, as I'm doing now, I had a hard time not laughing at her. Uh, <laughs> I said, lady, I just walked here from Georgia. I have no idea. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm going upstairs. <laughs> this is right after you cross, go under I-40. I always thought you went over it, but that is not right. You go under it. I guess they don't want you to forget after coming down all day what it's like to climb. Whew. Some more of that purple blooms. Up, 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 here we go. All right, on far out, I've got my, ending my first map here. So this ends first map. I'll come back to here to go and I'm gonna stay here. Good night. It's the trails, I don't even see the trail. I guess it goes down the road or something. Yeah, it goes down the road. Alright. Let's get up here to the hostel so I can take my boots off. Standing Bear Farm. Nope. I guess it's a hostel. A little bit of a road walk. Point two off the trail to get up here. Guess. 
coming up the hill. I've seen a lot of other people's videos. Of this place. Mixed reviews. I will let you know when I'm done what it's like. Probably won't film a lot. So many people stay here. It's a big old house. I'd like to have that in Montana. Bluegrass band. Oh, it's pretty neat. That's a good saying. So this is the store or the resupply at uh, Sandy Mayor. Or store, I guess would be a better word. I'm looking for freeze dried meals, I don't see any. This is right here and they're just not jumping out at me. So it's mostly just snacks and stuff. It's not no freeze dried meals that I see yet. How is it? 